Hi everyone, Alicia here from Stretch It App. And on today's episode of Stretch It Exercises, we'll go over a routine that will help you sleep better. Sometimes if you need a routine to wind down, if it's the end of your day and you have to decompress, gentle but still slow dynamic movements can help settle your mind, put it at ease, and therefore lead to a more restful sleep. Come to a cross-legged position, right or left leg can be in front, with both hands on the knees. From here, curl back, take an exhale, press all the air out, and on your breath in, arch, lift the chest. Again, exhale, curl back, breath in to arch. And these are very gentle. Don't feel like you have to over-exaggerate the arch. It's more so just moving gently through your spine and using the hands on the knees to guide you through the arching curl. And go as slow as you like here. Exhale, curl. Stay for a moment at the end of the breath. And then on your inhale, arch. Hold for a moment. Exhale, curl. Almost like you're moving through water. So the challenge here is, if you are usually used to moving through this fairly quickly, can you slow it down even more? Taking in longer inhales and longer exhales. Let's take one more each way. Sitting upright, arms extend long in the T position. Bend right elbow, place the hand down beside you and sweep left arm overhead. Take it up and over and switch sides. And in the same manner with how we performed arching and curling, do so here, moving through slowly as you change from right to left. Breath in, prepare. Exhale as you side bend. Again, breath in, lifts you up. And side bend. Let's take two more. Last one here. Up and over we go. Sweep the arm in front of you. And bring the hands behind you so we can bring the feet down in front in a parallel position. Carefully rock knees side to side and allow the pelvis to lift here. So these are very easy going. Know that it doesn't have to be intense internal rotation. If you want to guide it, you are more than welcome to place your hand on your hip and even follow through with your torso here. Good breath in as you move through center. Exhale as you shift. Let's take one more. Good. From here, let's fold the heels in toward our hips. Lowering down on our left elbow, staying on the side, reach right arm high, open, and lift armpit to the ceiling. Exhale, close. Again, open and close. If you have any shoulder issues, you can bend the elbow instead and lower. So whatever feels better here for the chest opener, whether you want to bend your elbow or maybe do a combination, extend at the top and bend as you lower back down. Again, synchronizing with the breath. Inhale as you reach. Exhale as you drop. Let's do two more. One more. Place both hands on. Carefully come up. Open knees so that soles of feet come together. And before we switch sides, just rock side to side with the hands still on the ankles. 
This is more so just moving through the butterfly position. And again, you want to go very slowly here. Try not to speed up the movements. Allow the momentum to take you down through your side instead of forcing it over, right? Breath in. Exhale, heavy pelvis through. Excellent. Let's do one more each. And now settle down center, both knees down, reach arms in front of you, tented fingertips, arch down and curl up. Exhale, breath in, roll up, exhale, arch down. These don't have to be super big, just moving through your breath again in a very gentle fashion. Bring it up. Now fold the knees so they end up to the right and we lower on to right shoulder. We'll go over the variations again. If you wish to, you can start with left arm straight, breath in. Exhale, it lowers. Open chest and close. If you want to keep elbow bent the entire time, we take the cactus arm. Or if you want to combine both, extend at the top breath in, exhale lower. For three, for two, one more. Bringing it up last time, cross legged position and perhaps the opposite leg from how we started. We'll bring both hands behind the head. Wide elbows first, breath in. Exhale, close elbow center as you pull chin to chest. Again, lift up, breathe in. Exhale, close. One more. Hold on the exhale. Keep the elbows forward. Continue to sit tall, but just think chin to chest. Feeling the stretch on the back of your neck. We hold for four, three, two, and release. Coming now to lie down. Let's start with the legs in front, hands on the thighs to carefully lower onto your back. Start by placing your hands on your thighs, lining up the heels of the hands with your hip crease. Take a breath in to prepare. Exhale, gently push, thighs away. Again, breath in, release. Exhale, push. Be sure as you go through these reps, especially when pushing your hands forward, that your shoulders don't start to creep up to your ears. Anchor the shoulders down and just gently push your hands forward. Let's do one more breath in, exhale, push, continue pushing and gently pivot your hip side to side as if you're swiveling your tailbone on the floor. Three, two, and one. Release the arms by your side, extend the right leg up. Knee doesn't have to be straightened completely, it can stay soft. And take now ankle circles out. Four, three, two, and reverse your circle. Four, three, two, and one. Relax your foot and place both hands behind your thigh. Bend your knee and gently pull your thigh in toward your torso. You can do tiny tugs here, pull it in and release. You can hold it. If you want to switch your hand position and place both hands on the shin instead for a tighter pull, you can take on that modification. And we'll switch sides. Return the arms by your hips. Extend other leg up. Again, keep a soft knee position and take your ankle circles out. Four, three, 
two and reverse other way. Four, three, two. Relax your foot again. Hands start behind the thigh. Bend your knee and pull thigh to chest. You can hold it still or work it out and in if you wish to. Or you can reposition your hands to be on top of your shin instead. Whether you move your thigh in and out or hold it tight to your chest. Now you either can place your feet outside wider than your hips and collapse the knees into your midline or you can place soles of the feet together with knees wide either will do hands can stay on the belly or by your side with palms facing up take a deep breath in for four three two one exhale out four three two one Again, breathe in through your nose. Two, one. Exhale out the mouth. Two, one. Again, breathe in. Four, three, two, one. Exhale out. Four, three, two, one. Last time, breathe in. Four, three, Two, one. Exhale out. Four, three, two, one. If the knees are wide, bring the hands right under the thighs and gently push them in so that knees come together. If you want to heel toe the feet out some and have your knees touch at the midline, hold here for a moment. Extend left leg down in front of you. Bring right knee in. Carefully pull it over to twist. Extending right arm wide, making sure that shoulder is heavy on the floor. Carefully return center and we switch sides. Other knee comes to chest. And we pull it over for a twist. Again, making sure now that shoulder stays heavy on the floor. Stay on that side, bring your torso over, hands in front to carefully press up. Return to your cross-legged position, take a deep breath in, exhale it out. To alleviate stiffness and to stay healthy, make sure you check out our classes on the Stretch It app. The link will be down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.